Michigan Wolverine versus the Indiana Hoosiers, March 29, 1976. On March 29, 1976, the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was the place of the NCAA tournament final matchup between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Michigan Wolverines. This contest was the first time that two teams representing the same conference would play in the national title game. The Indiana Hoosiers, under the guidance of Robert Knight in his fifth year, were undefeated after 31 games and were looking to become the seventh team in NCAA history to win a national championship with an unblemished record. The red and white featured a super efficient offense and defense, being led by senior guards Bobby Wilkerson and Quinn Buckner, first team All-America junior center Kent Benson, and the college player of the year, senior forward Scott May. On the other side, a familiar foe, the Michigan Wolverines. They were coached by Johnny Orr in his seventh season and were on an upswing, winning 11 of their last 12 games. The Mays and Blue were a pressing, up-tempo style team led by forwards senior Wayman Britt and junior John Robinson. Freshman center Phil Hubbard along with Swift junior guard Ricky Green. Could the underdog Wolverines play spoiler and avenge their two losses earlier in the season to the Hoosiers for their first national championship? Or could Indiana complete an epic season with a perfect record and be crowned champion? Big Ten's Greatest Games presents the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. The officials tonight from the Mid-American Conference, Bob Wortman, from the Western Athletic Conference, Irv Brown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the man who has called many Rose Bowls, World Series, Super Bowls, All-Star Games, all of the big events in sports. His first NCAA final is in 1946, 30 years ago. My distinguished colleague, Kurt Gowdy. Thank you very much, Dick. Bobby Wilkerson jumps center for Indiana. He's a backcourt man going against Phil Hubbard, the freshman of 6'7". And Wilkerson controls the tip to Kent Benson. Indiana's in white, Michigan's in the dark. Indiana plays a half-court offense, and they play it tight. They try and move inside the foul circle and operate from there. Watch out close, they'll try and move to the basket in their patterns. They don't spread out much. They want to get their big men inside. There's Scott May. Up to go. He's got the first. Indiana ahead. Do nothing. A foul was called and the basket is allowed, Kurt. Apparently someone away from the ball using a forearm. That's what it was. And since no one raises the hand, that makes it tough on all of us. We'll get the official word in a moment. All right, Michigan. Bobby Wilkerson committed a foul. Wide open is Ricky Green. On a great feed into him. Ricky Green, the fastest player in his court, sneaked in underneath. It's two all. Bobby Wilkerson. Brody's on him. Ricky Green's on Buckner. Wayman Britt's trying to cover Scott May. He covered Phil Sellers on Saturday. The All-American Rutgers have stopped him. May with Wayman Britt right on him. Now Wilkerson looking inside. Matt Abernathy's covering Johnny Robinson. They're matched up against each other. Game tied to all. Wilkerson to Benson. Turn around. Up on the board. Johnny Robinson cleared it. Steve Brody. Powerful guard. Weighs uh, around 200. All five starters of Indiana are over 200 pounds. Michigan inside to Brody. They're taking their guards inside, Kurt. And it's worked twice. Once for a hoop. Butker turned his back that time. Butker feeding Wilkerson. Jump shot. And again, Robinson on the rebound. There it is to Ricky Green. He's wide open. And it is goaltending. Goaltending call on Bobby Wilkerson. Boy, there's one of the biggest guards in college basketball. Wilkerson, he's 6'7", a guard. Watch how high he goes. Robinson, his second rebound. He spots the open man down court. Good pass to Green. Green open. Look at Wilkerson. Way up there for the goaltend. Abernathy back at the free throw line. Drops it in. for all. Tom Abernathy with a soft shot, slight backspin. They'll feather in for you if you lay them up like that off the rim. Michigan going to their attack now against the tenacious man-to-man -man of Indiana. Taken away by Quinn Buckner. That's how they'll pressure. They'll drop from the side, from the front. It's a man-to-man, -man, but they help each other. Combination zone, too. 
Michigan in the zone now. And they figured that Bobby Knight thought he might see it. There's a foul on number 32, Wayman Britt. That's the first foul on Michigan. Kurt, uh, Ricky Green going to the sidelines, went for the rosin. They had a little trouble with the slippery balls on Saturday, and Green apparently, I think it's more sweaty palm. That's right. Because it's tournament time. All right. Abernathy coming off the screen, trying to beat off the Buckner. It is off Hubbard's hands. It'll be Indiana's ball in. Game tied, 4-0. It's about three minutes gone. Scott May will play it in. Gets it in to Kent Benson. Benson to Abernathy. Very smartly, he was too far under, came out with it. May, he spells it. It's stolen by Grody. Here's a two-on-one. Grody to the trailer. Wayman Britt. Good play. The trailer is always open, coming down behind on a fast break. And they laid it off for him. Uh-oh, problem. There's an injured Hoosier. And that could be a very serious loss. It is Bobby Wilkerson who is down for the Hoosiers on that three-on-two break for Michigan. And, of course, so many players today absorbing the charge, trying to get the foul. And it's amazing more aren't injured. And it appears as if he might have hit his head on the floor. It looks like uh, he's dazed. Trainer attending him, Bobby Knight. You can just see his legs in the background, the coach, having some words with one of the officials, Bob Wartman. Now, uh, Knight in the flat jacket, leaning down. The man injured, Wilkerson Dick, grabbed 19 rebounds against UCLA Saturday. Well, and Bobby Knight calls him his most versatile defensive player. He can guard against a guard, a forward, or a center. We have a timeout. 17-17 remaining in the first half. Michigan leads Indiana 6-4 as we go back to our studios. Swiftest player in the country, perhaps. The Groat. Grody misses. Raymond Britt follows. Rebound, and here's the fast break. Ricky Green in for the solo all by himself. We all make bad decisions, like, say, gas station sushi. Cheap is good, and sushi, good, but cheap sushi, not so good. It's like that super low rate on not enough car insurance. Pretty sketchy. And then there are the good decisions, like e-surance. Their coverage counselor tool helps you choose the right coverage for you at a great price, without feeling queasy. That's insurance for the modern world. Insurance Now back by Allstate. Click or call. Monday, Rick Pizzo, Derek Rackley, and Tim Doyle have a little fun as they weigh in on the hottest topics around the conference as only they can. The Big Ten Falls, Monday on BTN. <laughs> Indiana's team isn't called the Mustangs. We're not the Pirates or the Screaming Eagles. We're the Hoosiers. But what exactly is a Hoosier? Well, it's any person who has spent at least part of his or her life within the great state of Indiana. So, in a way, that makes every man, woman, and child here our mascot. And that's the way it should be. Because in March, and every other month of the year, this is Indiana's University. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. The hand is for Bobby Wilkerson, who is being taken off the court and to the Indiana dressing room. And a Michigan fan giving him a hand. Sellout crowd of over 17,000. Dick Enberg's been over. And what did you find out, Dick? Well, he is, it's going to be unlikely that he'll play again tonight, Kurt. He is, he is semi-conscious. The doctor, taking full precautions, wants to be sure that he's taken back, attended to. 
And uh, I know we join everyone in, in hoping that uh, Mr. Wilkerson at least is able to rejoin his teammates in the second half, if nothing more than just a moral support. Well, that puts pressure on the world, the, the team that is considered maybe the best in the world, Indiana. And they've got an excellent replacement in Wayne Radford. The problem with a game with a, a delay like this, not only in the concern for Wilkerson, is what does it do to the two teams, Kurt? Well, we'll soon find out. It'll be Indiana's ball out. And as soon as we get a definite report on Bobby Wilkinson, we'll have it for you. Indiana with the ball, moving into their own forecourt. They're trailing by two. Ricky Green on Buckner. Abernathy to Scott May. Here's Abernathy. Now Buckner. Buckner, two men on him, and it's stolen again. Here's Ricky Green, the swiftest player in the country, perhaps. The Groat. Brody misses. Raymond Britt follows. And Michigan's ahead 8-4. to four. That's the swiftest. The quickness of this Michigan team. Indiana slowed them down twice in previous meetings. Had difficult games, but beat them. One in overtime. But they can't get into a running match with Indy with Michigan. Bucker up with his jumper. He's short with it. Raymond Britt has it for the Wolverines. They're out playing Indiana right now. Look at that green come back for the ball. Oh, he's... The Iowa coach said he is the quickest player in America, and I would have to believe that. What Indiana will try and do is keep him from penetrating down the middle. A shot by Johnny Robinson, 10 to 4. Michigan ahead. And it has to be a concerned Indiana bench right now. They have lost one of their starters with an injury, and Michigan right now is out playing him. Benson, this is what he'll have to do. He goes in there and uses all 245 pounds of it. He has a mind of his own and 245 pounds to back it up on the court. King Kong isn't going to stop him on that move. No, sir. 10 to 6. Michigan in the lead. Bill Hubbard, the freshman, on a high post. The Wayman Britt trying to drive. Scott May couldn't get it. Michigan will really have trouble going down that middle tonight. Indiana plugs it up when they sink and sag. And they'll try and force Ricky Green to pass from the side instead of from out in front. There's a foul on Tom Abernathy, number 33, reaching over the shoulder of Bill Hubbard. Kurt, an interesting aspect of this Michigan team is they're all championship players. Four out of the five Michigan starters played on high school state champions in Illinois, in uh, Michigan, and in Ohio. That pass was deflected. Looking down here from the rafters in the spectrum, our elevated shot. Scott May's shot won't go down. Rookie Green starts to break. Look at him go! And he took too many steps. Traveling on Rookie Green. Here's the speed of Ricky Green. The shot missed by Indiana. Green trying to go up for the shot. Took that little extra step, and you've got to credit the defense of the All-American Scott May. No basket. All right, coming down is Indiana. They're behind 10 to 6. I know one thing they won't lose. They may lose the game, but they'll never lose their poise. John Robinson. Benson, the basket. No good. And Johnny Robinson fouled him. Team fouls now. That is uh, two on Michigan. And we have two on Indiana. Pass into Wayne Radford. May. Closely checked by Brett. There's a shot by Abernathy, and he has it. He had a marvelous game against UCLA. Made seven of eight. He's uh, the kind of kid you don't notice, but just wins games for you. And in 74, he hit seven out of seven in the game against South Carolina. Wayman Brett lost the ball out. Somehow, they're going into the back door of the weak side and getting open against Indiana. You very rarely see that. All right, Indiana down now, trailing by two. Into eight, Michigan. Wolverines back in the zone. Tucker leaves his man. May outside. There's Buckner. And Buckner throws it away. And his zone, and a zone, the secret of any zone is to slide and move very quickly. That's what Michigan's doing. And keep the hands up, and that Grody was like a windmill in the face of the Hoosiers. Here's Grody coming down, Steve Grody. Grody. Wayman Britt, May on him. Will Hubbard, the freshman, beating Grody. Shot blocked by Butler. Up it is Wayne Radford. Indiana back again. Indiana's beat their opponents by a spread of 17 all year. There's a shot by Abernathy. Rebound, and here's the fast break. Ricky Green in for the solo all by himself. As Billy Packer pointed out, 
Johnny Orr knows that the Hoosiers send five men to the boards. Ricky Green released and got the easy solo. Six minutes gone, and Michigan is leading Indiana 12 to 8. Kent Benson. He has a freshman on him. Buckner drives and hits the layup. Quinn Buckner, who has been one of the outstanding athletes in Indiana history, starter on the football team his first two years, and a four-year starter on the basketball team. That's Hubbard. Every shot good. The freshman bangs it home, and the score is 14 to 10. Michigan leading. 13.20 to go in the first half. Quinn Buckner. Get Benson. Buckner. There he is. Blew the layup. Bill Hubbard cleared the board. Down to Rookie Green. Can't let him penetrate. Brick to Brody. Brody's got a baseline drive against Radford. Now Brick's outside. There's Green. They forced him to the outside. Johnny Robinson. Covering him, but not coming out too far. Michigan moving the ball against the man to man. Ricky Green, they took the middle away from him. Brit fired. He hit. 16 to 10, University of Michigan. And we have 12 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Quinn Bucker. Benson, turnaround jumper. Up on the board, that freshman, Phil Hubbard, he's 6'7", and he can really get up there. The pass off to Grody for his jumper. He hits it, 18 to 10, Michigan. Michigan is red hot, and Bobby Knight wants timeout. 12 minutes remaining in the first half in Philadelphia. The underdog, Mays and Blue of Michigan, lead unbeaten Indiana by eight. Replacing Radford, the pass to win the Benson. Scott May, don't let him open. Bang! 21 20. We all know we shouldn't use cotton swabs to clean or dry out ears. Ah! Introducing WaxVac, the safe and effective way to clean and dry your ears. Unlike cotton swabs, which push dirt and wax further into your ear. Ouch! WaxVac gently draws dirt particles and moisture out of your ear. WaxVac is quiet safe. Its unique safety guard prevents it from going too deep and effective. See how gently it vacs water and dirt. Just empty it out when you're done. Doctors everywhere warn against using cotton swabs to clean your ears. Stop using cotton swabs in your ears. Ow! Order the WaxVac now for only $10. WaxVac comes with eight soft color-coated silicone tips and this handy cleaning brush free. It even has this powerful examining light. But wait, there's more. Call now and we'll double the offer. You get two WaxVacs plus 16 color-coded tips and two cleaning brushes for only $10. Just pay additional processing. To order WaxVac for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-556-2445 or go to WaxVac.com. Order now. Get all the news and notes from the offseason. Stay dialed in to the latest draft chatter and take an early look at what's in store for the 2013 season. The Big Ten Football Report, Monday night on BTN. Big money during the Menards March Madness sale. Secure your valuables with Stack On. This executive safe has five live action locking bolts and a large storage capacity. It's fire rated for 30 minutes up to 1400 degrees and is also waterproof, just $699. Relax outdoors with a new patio set. The Del Mar dining collection includes a 44 inch square glass top dining table and four swivel rockers with powder coated steel frames, $339. Save big money at Menards money to the IRS? Are you years behind in your tax filings? Has the IRS threatened to take your home or place of business? Threatened bank levies, liens, or wage garnishment? Tax Relief Providers are specialists at solving tax issues and problems. Call Tax Relief Providers for a free consultation at 1-888-877-1090 or visit TaxReliefProviders.com. Tax Relief Providers will get the IRS off your back and get you some relief again. Call 1-888-877-1090 or visit TaxReliefProviders.com. Big Ten Men's Gymnastics, only on BTN. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29, 1976. With the basketball finals tonight, can baseball be far behind? Nope. And on next 
Saturday on NBC, April 3rd, starting at 2.30 Eastern Time. It's the baseball world of Joe Garagiola. One hour special called. It's anybody's ball game. Included in the entertaining look at baseball will be appearances by Nipsey, Russell, Connie Stevens, along with your host, Mr. Garagiola. 2.30 next Saturday Eastern Time. All right, Jim Cruz, number 45, is reported in. Replacing Radford to pass to win the Benson. That was a very clever pass then by Quinn Buckner. 18 to 12. Michigan, by the way, is at 75% of their shots. 9 out of 12. Indiana's at 45%. The steal by Scott May, and back comes Indiana. He saw that backdoor play coming and kind of hid behind the big players and darted out to intercept. Michigan has out-rebounded Indiana, 8 to 2. Abernathy, inside position. There's a foul on Hubbard. We're going to show you the basket before the one you've just seen. This took a perfect pass. Good defense. There's Hubbard right in front of Benson. The pass just tall enough. And Benson right there to hammer it home. Tom Abernathy going to the line. He was fouled by Phil Hubbard. Abernathy playing with a sore knee tonight. A senior from St. Joseph High, South Bend, Indiana. He's hit 74% of his free throws this year. And the score now is 18-15. That's five in a row for the Hoosier. All right, on a little blitz. Michigan in the lead. Hubbard leaves the post. He can handle the ball out in front. He's going to be a superstar. Just a freshman. Ricky Green, they set up. Hubbard on the high post. He's giving away 50 pounds to Kent Benson tonight. Hubbard weighs 195, Benson 245. Baseline drive, the shot is missed by Wayman Britt, and Buckner has it for Indiana. So Indiana University comes down with Jim Cruz in possession. The shot by Scott May, and Indiana trailing 18 to 17. Now Indiana's getting hot. They have streaked off seven points in a row. Ricky Green, he's the quarterback of the team. There's Brody, inside it goes. Johnny Robinson lost the ball out of bounds. He was claiming he was pushed, but no. Johnny Orr, the Michigan coach up. So come on, settle down. Named by his colleagues, the Basketball Coaches Association as the coach of the year. Quite an honor. Indiana's ball. They're going to keep trying to work a defenseman inside and get Hubbard in foul trouble. They're not a great outside city here. Mays is good from about any place. He can go out to 25 feet. That's him with the ball. There's Kent Benson. Up he goes. And Indiana's in the lead, 19 to 18. Six points for Kent Benson. So they were trailing 18 to 10. They have ripped off nine in a row. And the report we get on Bobby Wilkinson, he has a head or neck injury. He's going to be taken to the hospital for x-ray. Pass off. Bill Hubbard hooks it in. 20-19, Michigan back out in front. Indiana's ball. Time, 9.35 to go in the first half. The Wolverines ahead of the Hoosiers by one. Scott May coming out to meet the pass. Benson, hook shot. No, he passes underneath. The basket is no good. Scott May, three-second rule. May was in the lane. Can't be in that lane over three seconds. There's May camped in the lane underneath. What a feed, though, by Benson. Wasn't it pretty? All right, it is Michigan ball, Ricky Green. Michigan ahead, 20 to 19. Green, leading scorer in his team. Won't go down for him, and Jim Cruz grabs the rebound. Scott May, don't let him open. Bang. 21-20. May has six points. And Michigan has called timeout. And with a timeout, our score is Indiana 21 and Michigan 20. More of the Big Ten's greatest games after this timeout. I was just going to throw my old phone in a drawer. But then a friend told me about Gazelle.com. I was amazed how much I got for my used iPhone. They paid me cash for my used iPad. I got cash for my MacBook. 
and my Galaxy S. I got paid fast. They even paid me for my broken iPhone. They paid the shipping, too. It couldn't have been easier. So how much can you get? How much can you get? How much can you get? Find out now at Gazelle. That's gazelle.com. After all the work, after all the sacrifice, the moment has arrived. Become a champion and be remembered forever. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships, presented by Pure Silk, Saturday on BTN. Basketball fans can't contain your excitement for the season? Then the Big Ten Digital Network is your outlet. Get extra games, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, and more all on your computer. Plug into the game. Sign up now at video.btn.com. When I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grew up, I want to be a mechanical engineer. I want to be a naval engineer. Graphic design. Computer engineer. Computer yeah. engineer. Architect. Electrical engineer. When I grow up, I want to go to the University of Michigan. Reaching a dream. Something the University of Michigan is helping young students do. In the heart of Detroit sits the Michigan Engineering Zone, or the MES for short, which offers Detroit Public High School students an opportunity to grow in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, and much more. What they're learning is amazing. They're learning leadership skills. They're learning teamwork. Many of these high school students hope to be the first in their families to attend college, and the MES is a major reason why. Because it is, I can see, like, I can do really big things. This is from the heart. And that's one thing that I respect about the University of Michigan's engineering and the outreach programs. Some people will start and they don't finish. University of Michigan, they finish the job. And that we appreciate. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final. Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Tonight, the college basketball championship, and a week from Saturday, the world-defending baseball champion Cincinnati Reds and the Houston Astros, the first of 26 NBC color telecasts of Major League Baseball. Don't forget baseball with Joe Garagiola and Tony Kubek on hand to describe all the action through another World Series. They'll be backed up by the top-notch team of Messrs. Jim Simpson and Maury Wills. First game comes up a week from Saturday, 2 o'clock Eastern time. Michigan with the ball. They're in the dark suits that have just joined us. Indiana and White. And Indiana's ahead 21-20. Quinn Bucker out here steals it. Steal for Indiana. They have the ball now. They've come back. Scott May to Jim Cruz. Ken Benson trying to back in. Whips it to Bucker underneath and he hits it. Here's the assist to the center, Ken Benson. 23-20. Indiana. That's their biggest lead, Kurt. Three points. They're now shooting 60%. Michigan shooting 67. That's not bad for a time to be. It's been championship caliber play. Oh. Our time is 8-11 to go in the first half. The game has been played at a furious pace. Marred by the injury to Bobby Wilkerson. A shot by Grody to make it 23-22, Indiana. And now a later report, Bob Wilkerson, they've decided to leave him in the dressing room. He has a slight concussion, and they're keeping him in the Indiana dressing room for observation. Ken Benson, a short jumper. Ricky Green up for the ball. Down he comes. Look at him go. Here he moves. Off he goes with Robinson. Off-balance shot, but good. Oh. That was a circus shot by Johnny Robinson. Now the lead seesawing back and forth. Michigan ahead, 24-23. Benson. Quinn Buckner. Back down the key. Blew the layup. Watch Ricky Green's speed. He could just take off like he has a jet attached to him. He runs away from everybody. I haven't seen a quicker player all year. He's a junior college transfer. Played on the Illinois State Championship team, the first high in Chicago with his teammate, Johnny Robinson. And they're both at Michigan now together. Added word on Bob Wilkerson, Kurt. He is now on his feet. He is answering questions coherently. He may not be able to play tonight, but he's okay, and that's good news. That's what's important. 24-23, Michigan leading Indiana. National Championship game. Benson, a turnaround jumper. 25-24, Indiana, Kent Benson. The All-American Junior Center has eight points on four baskets. Michigan right back. 
Bobby Knight predicted three weeks ago that Michigan would be in the final four. He says it's the best team Indiana's played this year. That shot is good by Phil Hubbard. And we had a foul, I believe, on Hubbard. He charged after the ball had re been released. Boy, what a move for a freshman. He's going to be a super player, as you indicated, Kurt. He's got three big years left at Ann Arbor. Fourth team foul on uh, Michigan, and the foul on Hubbard, the second on him. Benson, Quinn Buckner, Scott May. Up for the ball, Wayman Britt on the swipe. Britt beating Ricky Green. Scott May blocked it. And there is a charging on Ricky Green. What a, what a block by Scott May, though. Johnny Orr didn't like this call. Let's see how it plays on the second look. Here comes Green inside. Here the defensive player had perfect position on him. What a block yeah. by May. That's why everyone's so high on him. He's a complete player at both ends of the court. Johnny Orr, his eighth year at Michigan, their all-time winning coach now, 48 years old. His four daughters are here at the Spectrum tonight. His wife watching him try and win the national title. Scott May. May out to Jim Cruz. He started as a freshman in 73 against UCLA in the semifinals. All right, Michigan's on him. Yeah, Brody bumped Brody. him and bumped him and bumped him, and he was, it was a matter of how far the officials were going to let the body checking go, and uh, Grody got him one time too many. He's calmed down considerably in the last four or five years. Jim Cruz. They're playing him belly to belly. Michigan right out there on him, man to man right now. Look at Grody Crowdy. Inside it goes to May. He hits. Indiana back out in front, 27-26. May has eight points. May did not have a good game Saturday against UCLA, scoring-wise, but he's hitting today. Brody, All-American football player in high school in Ohio. Lob pass to Britt. Got away from Scott May. The basket counts, and a foul's on Scott May. May let him drift away from him, turned his back. And uh, Britt, knowing more of a defensive player than a scorer, he's averaged 10 points a game, but he's got the touch tonight. And Bobby Knight, with his record at Army, you know he was a head coach with the cadets at the age of 24. He already has well over 200 wins. He has to be the youngest coach ever in major college ranks to win 200 so quickly. He started as a head coach at the age of 24 at West Point. Wayman Brett shooting. Michigan now leading 29 to 27. Adio Brody up to go on the board. Look at him jump. Up again, Ricky Green. That's really hustling up there in your offensive board. That's what they did, Indiana at Bloomington. They got three like that in about 10 seconds, Kurt, and it really turned the game around in the first half. 31-27, Michigan. Tom Abernathy drives by Robinson. Shot won't go for him. Uh, Look at that, Brody. Brody's all over the court. Bobby Knight teaches his players to dive for those loose balls. Tonight is Michigan out diving Indiana for him. Brody, trying like a man possessed, hitting the horn the floor. No shot! No shot. <laughs> Foul underneath on Jim Cruz, number 45. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Michael, tell us why you used Priceline Express deals to book this fabulous hotel. Well, you can see if a hotel is pet-friendly before you book it, and I got a great deal without bidding. And where's your furry friend? Uh, I don't have a cat. Now you can save up to 50% during Priceline's spring hotel sale. Use promo code SPRING for additional savings on all Express deals, including pet-friendly hotels. Express deals. Priceline savings without the bidding. Watching Big Ten basketball, add to the action with BTN Connect. See all the Twitter activity from around the conference. Get in-game stats and interact with our experts. Join your favorite team with btn.com slash connect. Get socially charged. The BTN Big Ten K is back. On July 27th, BTN brings Big Ten fans together for the summer's hottest event in Chicago. 
Registration is now officially open. Guarantee your spot at btnbigtenk.com. Step up to the plate for baseball on BTN all season long. See the big arms bring the heat. Got him on strikes. Catch every defensive gem. What a play. And witness the sluggers put their power on display. Space blast it way back and gone. As the pursuit of a championship reaches fever pitch. Big Ten Baseball, Sunday on BTN. The march to Atlanta is on. Let Big Ten Basketball and Beyond Tournament Edition presented by Buick guide you through it all. Complete previews for each matchup. This is a team that you got to keep your eye on once again. Interviews. The biggest thing for us was our defense tonight. I got to make an impact and I got to lead this team. And post-game analysis from the guys who know your team best. Big Ten Basketball and Beyond Tournament Edition presented by Buick. Tomorrow on BTN. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Foul in Indiana, Michigan has 16 fouls. After six fouls and a half, and a free throw comes up, not in the act of shooting, a team gets a free throw, they make the first one, they get the bonus. And it can be very important, that bonus situation. Hubbard way out, a little bit short. Look at Buckner up on the board. These modern players have really get up off the floor. Indiana, undefeated this year, trailing by four. In for a real tussle tonight against a team they beat twice. Tim Benton. Benton shot won't go. Loose ball, and they dive, and we'll have a jump ball at the Indiana free throw line. That'll be Quinn Buckner coming out. Kurt, this has to be perhaps the most difficult kind of game to officiate there is. These are two very physical teams, and so far, I really admire the way Mr. Brown and Mr. Wortman are using their whistle. They're calling an outstanding game. Well, they've been here before in these finals, officiating. Butter beat Hubbard, and Hubbard says the toss wasn't correct. Johnny Wooden wants to throw the jump ball out of the rules. He doesn't think you can regulate it correctly. Benson hooking wide open. Kent Benson. 31 to 29, Michigan. 10 points for Kent Benson. Uh, he and May are carrying the load tonight for Indiana so far. As advertised, the two All-Americans. They're the only two off one team this year. Pass goal. That was a bad pass by Grody trying to feed out in front. Uh, Indiana walks it down. They'll set up. They'll move within 25 feet. They roll. They pick. UCLA said it's the best picking team or screening team they've played all year. There's Abernathy inside. He comes off the screen. He can't hit it. And underneath the foul is called on Scott May for pushing off. Number 42. The second foul on May. Five team fouls on Indiana. Kurt, we've been talking about Wayman Britt and his excellent defensive play. Wayman Britt, the captain of the Wolverines, and by the way, the only senior of the top ten players for the Mason Blue. His next two points will give him 1,000 in his career, so he can get it in the hole, too. 31-29, Michigan leading. They've led most of the way. Hubbard coming out in a high post. Ricky Green, Buckner on him, trying to go down the middle, and they helped him and took it away. Three on two. Buckner holds it up, though. This has got back well. Scott May being crowded by Cody. The Indiana fans yelling at May with foul. There's Benson. Should have gone with his left hand that time. Fast break off to Robinson. He's forward, and the basket pounds. They just threw it up there on the three on two and hit it, and he's fouled. And Kurt, early in the break, there's even a more. Watch Ricky Green get away from the charge. That was an amazing move by Green. He had to have an extra set of eyes. Perfect pass. And look at this shot by Robinson. Hit in the head, and he kisses it high off the glass. Oh, my. The foul was on Buckner. The second foul, 16 fouls. Both clubs now have six fouls. Michigan ahead, 33-29. A chance for a three-point play by Johnny Robinson. Robinson has scored six points. Johnny Robinson, the best free throw shooter in this team, is at 84% this year. Doesn't quite get that one. Kent Benson cleared the board. Indiana's ball. 
Indiana behind by four. Look how tight Grody's on him. And he forced him in a mistake. Grody pressed Jim Cruz into a passing mistake. Boy, I tell you, Michigan's really playing a tough. And the five-second rule call. Michigan is right with him. Button to button. Raise your hand if you've got savings whiplash. You know, from car insurance companies shouting, save 500 bucks over here. No, save 300 bucks over here. Wait, save 400 bucks right here. With so many places offering so much buck saving, where do you start? Well, eSurance was born online, raised by technology, and majors in efficiency. So they're actually built to save you money. And time. And whiplash. eSurance. Now back by Allstate. Click or call. BTN brings you live coverage of your team's press conferences throughout the tournament. Hear what coaches and players have to say before and after every matchup. Catch press conferences as they happen all tournament long on BTN and BTN to go. Shop for tickets to Wolverines events and interact via social media at the official home of Michigan Athletics, mgoblue.com, part of the Big Ten Digital Network. We know you love Big Ten sports so much Who ordered the tall? that you want to take them with you. Excuse me? Really? Now you can. With BTN to go, it's the Big Ten network on your phone, tablet, or computer. BTN to go. Take it with you. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. It's a marvelous game, isn't it? it really is. Quick, tenacious Michigan, brute power of Indiana, and really going at it. In a game they played at a furious pace. They're trying to split the post. Bill Hubbard jumped up above Buckner. There's Johnny Robinson faking Abernathy out, but Abernathy stayed right with him. Give Abernathy credit for a fine defensive play. He was faked out and recovered. Butker brings it down for the Hoosiers. 33-29, Michigan. Two minutes, 14 seconds, traveling on Abernathy. He very seldom makes a turnover mistake like that. Wolverine ball. Let's check the turnovers. 10 against... Michigan and seven against Indiana. Again, if you're joining us late, fans, Bob Wilkerson, 6'7 guard starter for Indiana with three minutes gone in the game, had to leave with a mild concussion. Upper jump shot under pressure. Buckner on the rebound. Quinn Buckner. He has started with the freshman. Yeah, the Scott May shot won't go, and there's Ricky Green. Watch him on the gallop. There he goes. Foul, call on Quinn Buckner. That's three on Buckner. Bobby Wilkerson, their other backcourt man, is in the locker room. Johnny Orr wanted to see who the foul's on, and that's the seventh foul on Indiana. But Ricky Green was fouled in the act of shooting. Ricky Green, six feet two, a junior from Chicago, hit 78 percent of his free throws. He has the touch. Now it's 34-29, Michigan. If he's 6'2", Kurt, you can out-jump Kent Benson. Amazing leaper. 35-29, Michigan. And now Michigan has a trap press on. And they nearly blew it. It's off to Butker. They didn't go ahead and penetrate, Dick. They had a shot at it. They had two men back in the backcourt of Michigan. But they held up. Michigan leading by six. Buckner to the basket. Underneath. 
Redmond did get it away. Abernathy here to Jim Cruz. Buckner. No traveling. While he was up in the air, he got rid of it. Boy, I tell you, Michigan's really playing it tough. And the five-second rule call. Michigan is right with him. Button to button. Bobby Knight's defense is regarded as perhaps the toughest in the nation, but thus far in this first half, Michigan has played more tenaciously on defense than any team we've seen all year. Well, any club, Dick, as quick as Michigan should, all it is, defense, is determination. And if you got the natural attributes that Michigan has, jumping ability and quickness, they should be an outstanding defensive team. And our first sub comes in here for the University of Michigan, Tom Bergen, a 6'9 center is in. Bill Hubbard's taken out, being given a breather, the freshman. Bergen is a sophomore from Mount Prospect, Illinois. Michigan leading 35-29. Scott May's not getting many openings. We're in the final minute. There's May, a double teaming. Michigan making Indiana work for those shots. Ken Benson goes up and can't get it. He was wide open and couldn't hit it. And it's Michigan ball. And coming in now for Indiana is Jim Wisman. Wisman, probably the best offensive player in the team outside of Scott May for a shooter. Bobby Knight just went over and delivered a right foot kick into Philadelphia Welcomes, the banner across the way. He wasn't happy at all. He looked for goaltending on that last shot. We have 35 seconds. Michigan will play for the last shot of the half. Now you're down to 30. Michigan's going to leave the court on top at halftime against undefeated Indiana. Michigan led by 10 at Bloomington, remember, in the game they eventually lost to the Hoosiers in overtime. There's a shot by Grody. Get Benson pulls it down. Lisbon looking at the clock. They're four, three. May will have to get it off. It slipped that bit. And Michigan, at the end of the half, the underdog is six points ahead of Indiana, which has won 31 games in a row this year. Kurt Gowdy and Dick Enberg will be going to grandstand right after this message. When we return, we will take you to the second half. You're watching the Big Ten's Greatest Games. Stupid, slow, dirty PC. You know, you really should clean it up and speed it up at MyCleanPC.com. Is your computer running slow? What if you could fix it while you were online? Now you can. Just go to MyCleanPC.com for your free diagnosis today. Then, just activate the MyCleanPC.com software to fix it in minutes. And computer specialists are available while you're online. Get rid of pop-ups and junk files. Boost your PC startup time. Even prevent annoying errors, screen freezes, and crashes. The best thing about MyCleanPC.com was it had a free diagnosis. You know immediately what the problem is, and the problem is solved right then and there. My computer is 100% faster. My clean PC works. Download your free diagnosis today at MyCleanPC.com. That's MyCleanPC.com. Monday, Rick Pizzo. Derek Rackley and Tim Doyle have a little fun as they weigh in on the hottest topics around the conference as only they can. The Big Ten Falls, Monday on BTN. Attention dialysis patients. This is an important medical announcement. As of March 29th, 2012, the products GranuFlow and Naturalite have been recalled. If you or a loved one had dialysis for kidney failure between 2008 and 2012, the products GranuFlow or Naturalite may have been used during your dialysis. Recent reports and findings link GranuFlow and Naturalite to serious complications and injuries. If you or a loved one have suffered a heart attack, stroke, cardiac arrest, arrhythmia, or even death, 
you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 1-800-392-8465. Time is running out to file your claim. Don't be a silent victim. Protect your rights. Call now for a free, no-obligation consultation. Call 1-800-392-8465. That's 1-800-392-8465. 1-800-392-8465. Big Ten Men's Gymnastics, only on BTN. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. This is Dick Enberg with Kurt Gowdy. More than 17,000 fans at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Halftime score, 35-29, underdog Michigan leading Indiana. Before we run down the statistics for you, here's the official statement from Indiana Dr. John Miller and Temple Dr. Joseph Torg. Bobby Wilkerson sustained a moderate concussion. He is alert and in good condition. Arrangements have been made for his admission to Temple University Hospital for observation. So Bobby Wilkerson, injured in the first three minutes of the first half, will not play for Indiana tonight. Statistically, Michigan red hot in the first half. They shot 61% from the floor. Indiana, 45%. There you see the official first half statistics. Can Michigan maintain that red hot pace from the floor. Rebounds, Michigan two more than Indiana, but they also committed two more turnovers. Indiana, one more foul. No one is in foul trouble. Two fouls for May, two for Buckner for Indiana. Phil Hubbard of Michigan has two. Leading individual scoring, Ricky Green and Wayman Britt for the Wolverines. Indiana's Ken Benson, Scott May, and Tom Aber Abernathy. It's interesting, Indiana with the loss of Wilkerson, not getting any scoring from the backcourt. Ricky Green who has led Michigan throughout the year as the only guard among the top scorers this far. Green of Michigan leads the way with 10. 20 minutes to go, or will we have a repeat of that incredible game in Indiana a month and a half ago when the Hoosiers scored two times in the final 30 seconds to force a tie and then won it over Michigan in overtime. It's a six-point game as we... Note uh, Bobby Knight at Crossway calling his team back for a final word. Bobby Knight named in all the press services as the coach of the year, and then somewhat of a surprise, the coaches themselves, the Coaches Association, voted that honor to Johnny Orr, his colleague but competitor tonight in this final game. Who will take the crown home? It'll go to the Big Ten, either to Ann Arbor or to Bloomington with a second half. Here's Kurt. All right, Kent Benson of Indiana control the tip to Scott May. Wisman is starting this half, 23. Set a cruise. Scott May, Wayman Britt right on him. Indiana opens a half, six points down. There's Scott May's jumper, short. And it's over to Kent Benson underneath. He got a lucky rebound on that one. Came right back to him, and he took advantage of it. 35-31, Michigan. Kent Benson, the high of the game with 12 points. Same start as Brody, Rip, Ricky Green, Johnny Robinson, Bill Hubbard. Hubbard's shot no good. Scott May up there for the rebound. From behind, reaching over, Bill Hubbard. Jim Wisman beating Abernathy. Here's Benson. Up he goes. A little bit off. Scott May. His foul. May pursued the follow and threw the shot up on his foul. So Scott May goes to the line now. Johnny Orr, just, he's, he's sort of calm on the bench, Dick. He doesn't get very excited. That young man with him, Bill Frieder, he's a key to Michigan success. He would win on What's My Line, wouldn't he? Would you guess him to be a top young basketball coach? Well, he is a bright mind. Looks like a biology teacher. <laughs> Scott May's free throw is good. Scott May this year hits 79% of his free throws. Indiana shot over 50% field goals all year to set a school record. Now Indiana's right back in here. 10 points for Scott May, 35-33 Michigan. Indiana scored the opening four points of the second half. Well, that was important for the Hoosiers, too, Kurt. There goes Green driving on Buckner. Hubbard lost the ball. He had inside position, couldn't take the rebound. And now Indiana's taking momentary control. Wisdom with Brody on him. 
May. Double team. Somebody's got to be open with your double team. Aaron Athey to May. May missing those 10 and 15 footers for several occasions tonight. He's usually deadly on them. Down court, Wayman Britt. They set up, they put Hubbard on a high post, the freshman center. A foul is called on Quinn Buckner. That's the third foul on Buckner. He's the only player in the court with three fouls. What an athlete he is. Quinn Buckner, it was our pleasure when he was just a freshman when we went to Red China, Kurt. And you could see then this kid had class written all over him, that he had leadership qualities, great defensive player, and an outstanding young man. You know, he and uh, Cruz and Abernathy have played on 106 winning teams in four years in college. That's averaging better than 25 wins a year. Incredible record. Ricky Green, out there moving. They'll try and screen over on the other side, away from the ball. Pass off to Hubbard. Hubbard lost control of it. And a foul's on Scott May, number 42. That is the third foul on Scott May. Second team foul this half on Indiana. Now, May and Buckner, three fouls apiece. They'll have to be careful. But the second half is already two minutes old, Kurt, and Michigan has failed to score thus far. 35-33 Michigan. Hubbard gets open, and a foul's on Kent Benson. Benson fouling Phil Hubbard, who shook open on the out-of-bounds screenplay. A good foul for Benson because Michigan had a sure hoop out of it. Now he's going to make Hubbard go to the line and shoot those two. And let's check this freshman here. Bill Hubbard from Canton, Ohio. He hit 59%. He's the poorest free throw shooter on the seasonal record in the court tonight here in the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Average 15 points a game. This freshman here got the first one. He was the highest scoring freshman in the Big Ten. Eight points for him tonight. In a moment, 37, 33, Michigan. They have a press on. Butker was trapped. They got it away. Indiana steps up. Benson underneath the May and over his shoulder is Wayman Brick. I think the foul will be a common foul. I believe before... Uh, May went up for the shot. Oh, God, Kent Benson, the green, beating Johnny Robinson, and Robinson missed it and hit the follow. I don't make any decisions about who to hire without going to Angie's List first. You'll find reviews on home repair to health care written by people just like you. With Angie's List, I know who to call, and I know the results will be fantastic. Angie's List, reviews you can trust. After all the work, after all the sacrifice, the moment has arrived. Become a champion and be remembered forever. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships, presented by Pure Silk, Saturday on BTN. Get all the news and notes from the offseason. Stay dialed in to the latest draft chatter. And take an early look at what's in store for the 2013 season. The Big Ten Football Report, Monday night on BTN. Basketball fans can't contain your excitement for the season? Then the Big Ten Digital Network is your outlet. Get extra games, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, and more all on your computer. Plug into the game. Sign up now at video.btn.com. and building leaders. It's been a Big Ten tradition for more than 100 years. We honor the legends who've given us moments we'll never forget. And building leaders? Well, that's about preparation for living a life of significance every single day.
You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. That's the third foul on Wayman Britt and the second team foul on Michigan. Indiana has three team fouls. Short shot, rebounded by the freshman Phil Hubbard. 37-33, Michigan ahead. They were the underdogs tonight, but they're leading. They've already lost twice to Indiana, but a tough game to steal by the center, Kent Benson of Indiana. Buckner brings it down to set it up. He runs the club right now. Kicked out. Britt nearly stole that as he stepped in front of Scott May. That'd be encouraging for every so-called little man, Britt Little at 6'2", to see a man able to compete with men a half foot taller with his quickness and desire. And jumping ability. Indiana trying to find an opening. There's May. Up he goes. And he passed his own shot in. Scott May hit the follow shot. 37-35. 12 points for Scott May. And Kurt, that was Indiana's passing game at its very best. They don't like to bounce the ball. They like to move, move, move it. And they like to move it in tight. Brody's shot. Good! Made away jumper. 39-35 Michigan. Brody now has six points. Indiana and White if you just joined us. Undefeated. They've had a remarkable record. There's four fouls now. 39-35. Michigan in the lead. Ken Benson. Benson, that's his, that's his Sunday shot. That hooker, it's impossible to cover. He's 6'11". He uses his body to shield you off and throws it off the fingertips. Staten, the new player into the game. Benson batted it away. 39-37, Michigan. 15-35. The pace not quite as fast as it was. And that ball, there's a foul call on Michigan. Abernathy tried to pick it up. And it is on Johnny Robinson, number 45. This means he, he's there to clean up everything. Boy, and he does it very well, Tom Abernathy. Jim Wisman. Foul is on State and trying State. to cut him off again. Kirk. That will be in the bonus situation. That's the seventh, the sixth, fifth, fifth team foul. Indiana has only three team fouls and five on Michigan. This could be critical. They get in these bonus situations. Wisman. Scott May inside. He hits it. And we've got a tie game. 15 minutes, 10 seconds to go. And Indiana's come back to tie it up. Yelling, There's that shot again. Yeah. Watch what Scott May does with his other arm as he shoots. Now yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's Benson underneath. Look how he clears things out with that right arm. That's what Michigan was asking about. That's the moving industry under there. Indiana's coming out a little bit on him. Dick, look at that wisdom nearly stealing. They're coming out farther now on their man-to-man -man defense. Crowding them more. Brody. Wisman right on him. Brody hits the beauty. 41-39, Michigan. Steve Brody with eight points. That kid is playing the game of his life. Back is Indiana now. Behind by two. They were trailing by six and a half. Inside it goes to Scott May. It counts. Big traffic jam underneath. Here it is again, Benson beating off. He had a pretty good shot himself. Goes underneath, great Michigan defense, bats it away. May 
kind of hands it off to Buckner, and Buckner gets two and a chance to give Indiana the lead. I'll have to say May has been everywhere on both ends of the court, pursuing caroms, rebounds, following, beating out, scoring. You're looking at a very complete basketball player tonight, number 42, Scott May. Quinn Buckner at the line. May literally handed off a possible three points to Buckner. Buckner's used to those handoffs. Buckner's not a good free throw shooter, 47%. Bill Hubbard up on the rebound. Michigan back. Game tied, 41 all. Ricky Green feeding Johnny Robinson, and Robinson missed it and hit the follow. 43 41, Michigan. The game to decide the National Collegiate Championship. And there are a little over 14 minutes to play. Benson, 15 feet, got it. 43 all. Ken Benson, 16 points. Scott May has 14. All tied again. Pass to Grody. A reaching foul by Wisman. That's a foul that a coach doesn't like to see. Uh, just reaching out. You really can't accomplish much by it. And uh, just a foolish foul. Four team fouls now on Indiana. And 16 fouls on Michigan. And we're going to have a timeout with a score. Tied 43-43. And now back to our studio. Benson off the pivot. He has it. 45-43. Michael, tell us why you used Priceline Express deals to book this fabulous hotel. Well, you can see if a hotel is pet-friendly before you book it, and I got a great deal without bidding. And where's your furry friend? Uh, I don't have a cat. Now you can save up to 50% during Priceline's spring hotel sale. Use promo code SPRING for additional savings on all Express deals, including pet-friendly hotels. Express deals. Priceline savings without the bidding. Watching Big Ten basketball, add to the action with BTN Connect. See all the Twitter activity from around the conference. Get in-game stats and interact with our experts. Join your favorite team with btn.com slash connect. Get socially charged. The BTN Big Ten K is back. On July 27th, BTN brings Big Ten fans together for the summer's hottest event in Chicago. Registration is now officially open. Guarantee your spot at btnbig10k.com. The March to Atlanta is on. Let Big Ten Basketball and Beyond Tournament Edition presented by Buick guide you through it all. Complete previews for each matchup. This is a team that you got to keep your eye on once again. Interviews. The biggest thing for us was our defense tonight. I got to make an impact, you know, I got to lead this team. And post game analysis from the guys who know your team best. Big Ten Basketball and Beyond Tournament Edition presented by Buick tomorrow on BTN. Step up to the plate for baseball on BTN all season long. See the big arms bring the heat. Got him on strikes. Catch every defensive gem. What a play. And witness the sluggers put their power on display. Space blasted way back and gone. As the pursuit of a championship reaches fever pitch. Big Ten Baseball, Sunday on BTN. Welcome back to the Big Ten's Greatest Games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. They played 26 minutes and they're dead even, and we've got more exciting basketball championship action next year, 1977. The finals will be hosted by the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia. You see the address for ticket information. Your applications cannot be postmarked until April 1st. April 1st, send in your ticket orders, $28 for each ticket. $28 a ticket. There's the address in Atlanta, Georgia. The preceding announcement furnished by the NCAA. Ricky Green inbounds it to Phil Hubbard. 43 all. Green runs his ball club. He's been their high scorer in tournament play and high score for the season. Staten shot. A little bit short. He was shooting under pressure. Out of bounds off the hands of Grody. It'll be Indiana's ball. 
Indiana shot 55% in this half, Michigan 42%. Each team 43% for the game. Benson. Now they set up. They just pushed that other team right back up against the baseline. Scott May. Little long. Abernathy underneath. And it's going to be Indiana's ball. Scott May will toss it in. Michigan led by six at the half. They're tied now. 13 minutes to play for the national championship. Benson off the pivot. He has it. 45 for Kent Benson. Benson, 18 points. Indiana in the lead. First time for the Hoosiers in front in the second half. Covered out on a high post to Ricky Green. Jump shooting. Won't go. Benson up there to manhandle him on the rebound. And over here, Quinn Bucker is holding his hands up. Some kind of a play, you see. 21. There's made a Benson. He's got a holding on Phil Hubbard. Phil Hubbard committed the foul. Benson had position on him. That's the third on Hubbard. And the seventh team foul. Now watch Kent Benson. He gets position on Hubbard. Hubbard sees him going, so he reaches in and grabs him. And the foul before the shot as Benson had the easy two. Well, he's a lot to handle. That's trying to cover a garage door. One and one now for Kent Benson. He hits the front end. He gets the bonus free throw. Kent Benson, all academic Big Ten player. Oh, up on the board. It was Bill Hubbard to clear the rebound. Down to Ricky Green. That was a big miss for Indiana. He had the easy two and couldn't make the front end of the bonus. 45-43 Indiana. There's a snake away. Butler in. Easy layup. Seven forty-three, four-point lead now for Indiana. They have outscored Michigan ten points in this half, and no, Dayton up on the follow. No, up again. Holding. Acting call on Ken Benson. Boy, how that youngster State hung up there. Look at this activity. Maybe it isn't a contact sport, but it surely is a collision sport. Look at that state in a little ballet. He's short on the shot. Players going to the court. There's a great block by Benson, but a foul is called. Wonder if we can see that one more time. It might have been with a body, and we're at the other end of the court. Bobby Knight thought it was a clean block. It did appear that Benson had his hand on top of the ball. Might have gotten him with a body, although the signal by Herb Brown was he got him on the hand. Tom Staten, just a freshman from Ferndale, Michigan. At the line. He's playing in place for Wayman Brid, who had four fouls. Staten has it. 47-44. He was shot in the act of shooting. Benson, by the way, has only two personals. And the freshman hit them both. And now coming in is Dave Baxter. Very quick. He replaces Staten. Wayman Brits in. And Grody goes out. This Baxter is just about as swift as Ricky Green. And they go to the press. Down it goes to Scott May. So Michigan has some real speed in there now. The best speed on their club. Wisman outside. He can hit. Short with it. He didn't take enough time. Here's Ricky Green on the gallop. All the way penetrating. The basket counts. And a foul. Good. Foul may be on Green. The charging. That's Johnny Robinson passing inside to Hubbard. Game is tied, 51 all. There's Scott May up with a jumper. He's got it. 53 51. I'm a Marine veteran of the Vietnam War. I was in contact with Agent Orange. My pain on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it was around a 14. 
For decades, students, physicians, and researchers at the Indiana University School of Medicine and the Rowdy Bush Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Indianapolis have collaborated on a crusade to address the unique health care needs of veterans. Most of your veterans that come home are in pain physically and mentally. They do need to be evaluated. Indiana's Dr. Kurt Kronke's clinical research is opening doors to new and innovative treatments. In many patients, we don't necessarily totally eradicate the pain, but we make the pain manageable so that they can function better. I hope they realize I wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for their research. And I really appreciate it, and I'm sure these other veterans do too. BTN brings you live coverage of your team's press conferences throughout the tournament. Hear what coaches and players have to say before and after every matchup. Catch press conferences as they happen all tournament long on BTN and BTN to go. Monday, Rick Pizzo, Derek Rackley, and Tim Doyle have a little fun as they weigh in on the hottest topics around the conference as only they can. The Big Ten Falls, Monday on BTN. Are you a homeowner, 62 or older? Are you looking to access cash from your home or eliminate your monthly mortgage payment? How about both? Then call the number on your screen. Reverse Mortgage Solutions experienced representatives are standing by. Learn how this loan program lets you access your home's equity and get the cash you're looking for. With a reverse mortgage, there are no monthly mortgage payments. You will still own your home and you will have many options on how to receive your cash. Reverse mortgages are easy to qualify for, so call today and be on the way to financial independence. In today's economy, this is a great way to get the cash you are looking for. Start by getting the facts. Our reverse mortgage professionals will answer how you qualify, how much cash you will qualify for, and how quickly you will get the money. Call now. It's time to get all the facts, and Reverse Mortgage Solutions is here to help. Call 855-200-1052. That's 855-200-1052. Big Ten Men's Gymnastics, only on BTN. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final. Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Here's the speed of green. He saw a little daylight. He goes around Benson here with a little crossover. And then darts inside, but the position by Abernathy. And the foul to green. Well, we're tied up again, 47 all. Bobby Knight back to the bench. Excuse me, it was Buckner who had position underneath, and he'll shoot one and one at the other end. Again, remember... Not been outstanding at the free throw line, but he hit that one. Now he'll get the bonus shot. Glenn Buckner playing his last game in a Hoosier uniform. Brilliant career. Nine points tonight. Ten points. And Indiana's ahead 49-47. Michigan ball. Dave Baxter with it. He can move. Look at him. Very clever dribbler. He's a left-hander. Wayman Britt playing with four fouls. Green gets around, jumper, he hits the 49 all. Ricky Green, and they cleared out for him and gave him room as he rolled off the screen. 14 points for little Ricky Green. High game. Scott made a Benson. Benson up and has it. The pass was in Scott May. Benson has 20 points, and they're not stopping him inside. 51 49 in the end. Ten minutes, 45 seconds to play. Green. They leave him open. Abernathy pushed off. Fouls on Abernathy. Herb Brown smiling at him. I saw you. Yeah, it's an interesting story. Notre Dame is uh, the place where Tom Abernathy works during the summer. He lives right near the Notre Dame campus. The Irish didn't seem to be interested in him, so he went down to Indiana. He fought to make the starting team, and as a senior, he's made it and has been a great contributor to the Hoosier success. All right, six team fouls now on Indiana. So they'll both be in bonus situation. And fouls coming up. Indiana ahead, 51 to 49. Michigan ball. That's Johnny Robinson passing inside to Hubbard. 
Game is tied, 51 all. Freshman Phil Hubbard has 10 points. And 10 minutes left, an even ball game. Quinn Buckner. There's Scott May up with a jumper. He's got it. 53-51. Scott May with 16 points. Baxter. Traveling call. He shuffled on his drive. Johnny Robinson. And now coming in for Indiana is the freshman, Rich Bellamissa. A hefty freshman who loves to play defense. Abernathy goes out and gets a hand. So a freshman in. I'm very impressed by the number of freshmen we're seeing here in the final four. Look at how good they are. Of course, they're not freshmen right now. They played a whole season. They're really sophomores and experience. Alavicious is up, and the freshman hits his first shot. 55-51. Indiana leading. Trying to cap off an undefeated season by winning a national title. It's only been done six times before. Four times by UCLA, once by San Francisco, and once by North Carolina. So they going through a basketball season under pretty difficult. There's Baxter up. On the rebound, Hubbard Benson blocks the shot, and Jim Brisbane has it. Great block by Kent Benson. Indiana the has biggest, the ball. Biggest play of the game, turn right there. 845, and crashing to the floor. Herb Brown coming over to the scores table, holding. Bill Hubbard commits the foul. Four on the freshman center of Michigan. One and one coming up. Got a slick spot on the floor. It was 35-29, Michigan at half time. Watch this block, Dick right, by Ken Benson. There's Benson. Look at the timing. The rebound coming out. Hubbard goes up. Looks as if he might have to. Beautiful timing by Benson. Gets it to Wisman and sends Indiana to the other end. You know, some players, when they block the way to do it is keep it in play. You got a chance of recovery. Benson makes it 56 51 and has a bonus shot. Kent Benson, 21 points in the game. This is the Hoosiers' biggest lead. Up goes the freshman, Bill Hubbard, to clear the rebound. Dave Baxter. <laughs> Look at him, boy, in the mood. Got that reverse dribble. Wayman Britt. Hubbard. Ball's out of bounds. And it's off with Buckner. Kurt, that's what they call letting him play, I guess. <laughs> A uh, timeout is being called. Bobby Knight said, what? <laughs> timeout. And our score of the national championship game with 8.24 to go. More of the Big Ten's greatest games after this timeout. What's Droid Smart? With Google Now, it automatically knows when you need to leave for the airport, how much traffic there is, and can have your boarding pass ready. The Droid Razor Max HD by Motorola. Droid Smart. Droid Powerful. Watch all access video and purchase official IU souvenirs and apparel by visiting the Indiana University Athletics official online store at iuhoosiers.com. Part of the Big Ten Digital Network.
passion will rise. Intensity will reign. And history will be revealed. The competitions continue with the greatest clubs on the planet. The world's best. Play here. This season on Fox Soccer and Fox Soccer Plus. What's Droid Endurance? The longest 4G LTE battery in a razor-thin profile with 32 hours of battery life that turns an all-nighter into a two-nighter. The Droid Razor Max HD by Motorola. Droid Endurance, Droid Powerful. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29, 1976. Baseball's in the news. It'll be on NBC next Saturday, April 4th, starting at 2.30 Eastern Time. Baseball World of Don Rasciola, a one-hour special call to Timmy Buddy's Bowl game. Included in this entertaining look at baseball will be appearances by Nipsey Russell and Connie Stevens, along with your host, Joe Garagiola. Don't forget, Anybody's Buddy's Bowl game this Saturday, 2.30 Eastern Time. Dick, a typical Indiana performance. They've hit 61% of the second half and have not committed a turnover. And meanwhile, Michigan only 35%, so Indiana playing great defense, forcing four turnovers. Michigan's ball. And to Johnny Robinson. Hit Benson up to clear the board. 56-51, Indiana ahead. Just over eight minutes remaining. There's a steal by Ricky Green. All the way. Very quick hands on him. Wisman got careless with that ball. 56-53, Indiana. Big bucket for the Wolverines. If Indiana scores there, they're on top by seven. And 16 points for Ricky Green. He has to be on this all-tournament team. I have to say Marcus Johnson, Benson Bradley, and Scott May. Ken Benson makes it 58-53. 23 points for Ken Benson. The Big Ten will have a look at him again next year. He's just a junior. Wayman Brett. Ricky Green on his drive. Bunker on him. A foul. Is on number 35, Hubbard. That's five on him. The freshman is fouled out. On the floor is Ricky Green. Johnny Orr is unhappy, yelling at the official over there. Bill Hubbard's out, and Johnny Orr, the Michigan goal, is unhappy. Bill Hubbard, a freshman, scored 10 points. He's out of the game. The strength and size of Ken Benson finally wore him down. Johnny Orr, admittedly, will tell you he was nearly fired four years ago. And at one stage of his career, he quit coaching basketball to go into the insurance business. And he says... But I was coaching at Massachusetts and used to call and invite my wife and I to go to dinner on Saturday night when we were playing games. I decided it was time to get out. Nobody cares. And they care about him now. And I say his real future is ahead of him. Butner makes it 59-53. Up on the rebound is Johnny Robinson. Tom Bergen is Wayman Britt, a six-point lead for undefeated Indiana. Shot by Wayman Britt. It is good, 59-55. That's 1,000 points in his Michigan career. A four-point lead for Indiana. Scott May driving. May has it. 51-55. 18 points for Scott May. Ian Benson doing it when they have to in the title game. Underneath. Whoa! It won't go. And Grody. Foul underneath. Lipping the rim. The foul is on Jim Wisman. Johnny Orr at 48. He did a nice little pirouette. He just followed that ball with his body. Using body English, he just did a nice little turn himself, but he couldn't get it to fall in. Well, he still has that All-American at Beloit ability. Brody shooting two. And coming in now is uh, Joel Thompson from Michigan replacing Johnny Robinson. 
61-56, Indiana. Time remaining, 6.43. Indiana's won 62 of its last 63 games. 61-57. Elevicious, stolen by Wayman Britt. Bangs it right over to Quinn Buckner, though. There's Benson. Foul is called on the new player into the game, Tom Bergen. Up the guard, he's short with it. Got May underneath. Oh, look at that shot. A friend told me about Gazelle.com. They paid me cash for my used iPhone. Cash I used to get a new one. I can't believe how simple it was. I was surprised how much I got. They even bought my broken iPhone. And they paid the shipping too. I got paid fast. Couldn't have been easier. So what's your iPhone worth? What's your iPhone worth? What's your iPhone worth? Find out now at Gazelle. That's gazelle.com. After all the work, after all the sacrifice, the moment has arrived. Become a champion and be remembered forever. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships, presented by Pure Silk, Saturday on BTN. Get all the news and notes from the offseason. Stay dialed in to the latest draft chatter. And take an early look at what's in store for the 2013 season. The Big Ten Football Report, Monday night on BTN. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. And Abernathy's coming back in. Abernathy replaces the freshman, Valadicious. Give him a hand. Of course, they're, they're giving him a hand of encouragement for the future. He has three more years. He's building the Bobby Knight mold, isn't he? He's just like a linebacker in football. Number 34, Richie Valadicious. Kent Benson now has 24 points. 62-57, Indiana. The Mount religious man member of the fellowship of Christian athletes, 63-57. Six-point lead for Indiana. 6.25 to go. 54! Fouls on Kent Benson. Fouling Steve Grody. Three on Kent Benson. You know, Kurt, Bobby Knight had an interesting point yesterday at the press conference. Some people criticize him because he's up and down, yells a lot on the bench. But Knight said, you know, that's my job. And you watch my players, you'll never see them yell at officials or act in a, a manner that is uh, not kindly to my... So that's my job. And boy, you watch the kids, and he's absolutely right. He, that's part of his role, and he does it well, and his players do their part well. But you know, he, uh, Dick, he's been very quiet during the tournament. He uh, has sort of been placidly sitting on the bench. And, uh, Sometimes he's known as Tex Bad Boy, but his uh, behavior during the NCAA tournament is hardly the way he's sitting there. 63-59. Four-point lead for Indiana. Michigan cuts it down again. The trap zone off-court press that goes to Scott May. That's the pass that'll beat that trap press. Benson inside on Bergen. Up the guard, he's short with it. Got May underneath. Oh, look at that shot. Woo! That is phenomenal. He was underneath the basket. There was no way to hit the backboard, and he still threw it in. 20 points for Scott May. Brody trying to whirl the feet off. Bubble around. Up with it is Tom Abernathy. Time remaining, 5 minutes, 40 seconds. Indiana with a six-point lead. Buckner didn't want to penetrate. I look for Indiana going to a semi-stall here pretty soon. Abernathy off to Buckner. Now is on Steve Grody. Now this defies the law of physics. Here's the last basket by Scott May. Michigan had the ball, it comes to May. Now he's directly under the basket, so he has to throw it straight up in the air and somehow gets it down through. Mm 
Mm. The, you know, the All-Americans for Indiana, down the stretch here in the second half, May and Benson, I can't imagine players, and they're great ball at any way, playing any better. They're making seemingly every shot. Right, Benson has 25 points. May has 20. They both play well at both ends of the court. Gwynn Buckner, who had a slump in mid-season, but has finished the season in brilliant fashion. This is a free throw, and Indiana now has a seven-point lead. Indiana just grinds you down. They're so strong physically. And Indiana now leading 67-59. 13 points for Quinn Buckner. He's had an excellent postseason tournament for the Hoosiers. Now Michigan has to go to work quickly. Up for the shot is Bergen. Bergen's shot won't go. Look at Buckner up on the rebound. He's been outstanding on the board. Remember, Indiana lost Bobby Wilkerson with an injury early in the game. Their top jumper with a concussion. Buckner coming off, feeding underneath. Abernathy blew the layup. He follows and he fouled. Abernathy was held as he went back up. The foul is going to be called on Wayman Britt, and that's all for him. He's fouled out. Five on Wayman Britt. A senior, his last game, finishing a brilliant career at the University of Michigan. But with him goes Regan. It would be an impossibility now almost for Michigan to win with two of its great starters, Britt and Hubbard, on the bench. Two starters are gone from Michigan. Indiana begins its celebration. Five minutes left. Hoosier 67, Wolverines 59. More of the Big Ten's greatest games after this timeout. We all make bad decisions, like, say, gas station sushi. Cheap is good, and sushi, good, but cheap sushi, not so good. It's like that super low rate on not enough car insurance. Pretty sketchy. And then there are the good decisions, like e-sharns. Their coverage counselor tool helps you choose the right coverage for you at a great price without feeling queasy. That's insurance for the modern world. Insurance. Now back by Allstate. Click or call. Basketball fans can't contain your excitement for the season? Then the Big Ten Digital Network is your outlet. Get extra games, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, and more all on your computer. Plug into the game. Sign up now at video.btn.com. Watching Big Ten basketball, add to the action with BTN Connect. See all the Twitter activity from around the conference. Get in-game stats and interact with our experts. Join your favorite team with btn.com slash connect. Get socially charged. Step up to the plate for baseball on BTN all season long. See the big arms bring the heat. Got him on strikes. Catch every defensive gem. What a play. And witness the sluggers put their power on display. Way back and gone. As the pursuit of a championship reaches fever pitch. Big Ten Baseball. Sunday on BTN. tradition. Academic inspiration. Global engagement. That's the Michigan difference. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Indiana, Dick has outscored Michigan 14 points in the second half. And the last tie, Kurt, at 49. Now get at 51. And after 51, Indiana taking control. And then when Hubbard fouled out, Benson was having a field day inside. And Johnny Orr forced to go to his inexperienced bench. And even the most experienced players in the country haven't been able to stop this man. If there is the most valuable player in this tournament in my eyes, he wears 54 in red tonight. And he also wears on his left wrist uh, tape bandage. And during the week, he wears a hard cast. He has a tendon problem in his left wrist and will have surgery when the season is over. 
Abernathy playing his last game for Indiana. Makes it 68-59. Abernathy averaging 10 points a game all year. But invaluable defense leading off there when they need it. Now it's a 10-point lead for Indiana. And they start to stretch it out again. They just grind you down. Heard it's interesting. Michigan has not had one fast break field goal the second half. I notice how they help each other. Buckner left the weak side, slid all the way across to stop that play, and traveling was called. And it was Buckner leaving his man to come over and help out to force it. They have the all-court trap on. Here it is to Buckner. The way to handle it again. Penetrating. Now we have four minutes and 35 seconds to go. A 10-point lead into Abernathy. It's the basket. Oh. 71. They're showing a class of a champion now. 71-59. Indiana's getting better and better as the game goes along. Grody whirling in. is fouled by Wisman. Jim Wisman. You know, there's something about an unbeaten champion in any sport, Kurt, and you've seen them in, in, in all phases of sport. And it's been a, a thrill to watch Bobby Knight's team this year. They've been the best team all year, and they've shown why they're the best this second half. They're beating an outstanding underdog team, and they're doing it with so much precision. Well, we've had some outstanding teams in the history of college basketball over two-year stretches. Oklahoma State, 45-46. Adolph Rupp's two great Kentucky teams in a row. Bill Russell's Casey Jones, the San Francisco teams, lost only one game two years in a row. UCLA had a stretch of seven years in a row, losing only four games. And now Indiana has lost only one game in the last two years. And let's not forget that Chucker Cincinnati, two straight Three years champions. in a row. They beat Ohio State <laughs> one year. Now they're in their delay game. They'll go for the basket if they get a good shot, but their idea now is to freeze the national title away. With less than four minutes to go, a 12-point lead for Indiana. For Michigan, it's between a rock and a hard place. Michigan basketball to them before the days of Bill Button and Kansas Russell used to be the sport they waited for until football rolled around again. Now, with only one senior on this team, I wouldn't doubt that Michigan will be the favorite to win the Big Ten last year and uh, next year when the season opens. Dick. Well, if Johnny Orr can get himself one big center, he can move Hubbard to that forward spot that will be vacated by Wayman Britt, and you've got a tremendous team. And uh, apparently they're after a couple of big men. Indiana has already indicated they've had its best recruiting year in many, many seasons, but they have four starting seniors to replace. Alan Hardy come into the game. Scott May has 21 points, capping off probably the greatest career an Indiana player has ever had. With an all-time performance for him when it counted. 22 points for Scott May. Well, they'll remember him along with Don Schlund and Bobby Leonard from Branch McCracken's championship team of 1953. 73-59, Indiana. Great shot hit by Tom Staten. 73-61. The press is on. Benson helping out. Double trap and throws it away. Driving a Staten. And a block has been called. <laughs> charging on Michigan. I tell you, these two teams have or been on, be on May. It may be on May. It Let's is see. on May, I believe, Kurt. They've been on the floor more than Muhammad Ali's opponents this <laughs> past couple of years. This is a collision course. Somebody's going to go down, that's for sure. That state looks like he's going to climb the Empire State Building. And May says, why me? <laughs> oh. Staten missed the first free throw. 73-61 Indiana, 3.30 to go. It's a very bright student, Kurt. He wants to enter law or ministry after his education. At 73-62. We'll see what the Indiana does against this zone trap press. Abernathy couldn't get it in. He want to call a timeout. That's a smart move. When well, you had trouble getting it in like that, call a time. They got timeouts left. So now they get the shot reorganized. And with the 11-point lead now, Indiana wants to play it very safe. Benson up for the rebound. Down it goes to Abernathy. Here it is to Scott May. May has the layup. Scott May 
stupid, slow, dirty PC. You know, you really should clean it up and speed it up at mycleanpc.com. Is your computer running slow? What if you could fix it while you were online? Now you can. Just go to mycleanpc.com for your free diagnosis today. Then just activate the mycleanpc.com software to fix it in minutes. And computer specialists are available while you're online. Get rid of pop-ups and junk files. Boost your PC startup time. Even prevent annoying errors, screen freezes, and crashes. The best thing about mycleanpc.com was it had a free diagnosis. You know immediately what the problem is, and the problem is solved right then and there. My computer is 100% faster. My clean PC works. Download your free diagnosis today at mycleanpc.com. That's mycleanpc.com. The BTN Big Ten K is back. On July 27th, BTN brings Big Ten fans together for the summer's hottest event in Chicago. Registration is now officially open. Guarantee your spot at btnbigtenk.com. BTN brings you live coverage of your team's press conferences throughout the tournament. Hear what coaches and players have to say before and after every matchup. Catch press conferences as they happen all tournament long on BTN and BTN to go. Sterling United Federal Credit Union has been serving the community since 1956. At Sterling, you will find straightforward, low-cost services without gimmicks. Our Check Plus checking offers a no minimum balance fee. That's right, no minimum balance fees on checking. You also earn interest on your checking with no monthly fees, plus fee-free ATMs all around town. Remember, when you're looking for personal, local service that's simple, visit Sterling at any of their five convenient locations or at sterlingunitedfcu.org or call 425-0111. I'm here to tell you that your options for getting out of debt have never been better. How do I know? Because I'm Howard Dvorkin, the founder of Consolidated Credit. For nearly two decades, we've helped over five million people just like you. Simply pick up the phone and find out what our Freedom Quest program can do for you. Reducing your payments by up to 50% is just the beginning. As soon as you call, the hard part is over. Call Consolidated Credit now. Call toll-free 1-800-401-5528. Call now of Pi. Big Ten Men's Gymnastics, only on BTN. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Let's eavesdrop Johnny Orr's final words, perhaps, to this Michigan team. It's assistant Bill Prater is doing the talking now. Well, they're real shot. Three and a half minutes to go. They've got to go out and grab about three or four quick steals, convert. He was either saying press four or press more. And of course, uh, with an 11-point deficit and only 3 minutes, 31 seconds left, that sign seems to be the real truth of the night. I don't know whether Michigan can pull the miracle comeback, but if they don't, they have really been the Cinderella team of this tournament and of the season. Famous referee, Jim Enright, who refereed for years in the Big Ten, told me this morning used to be called days when there would be a few hundred people at a Michigan game. Look at that. They've got the ball back. State and shot is good. 73-64. And Indiana is uh, giving the ball away on this press. Michigan's really bothering them. There's a foul on Michigan. At the line now is Jim Wisman. And it's Michigan ball. Down they come. Ricky Green on the move. Penetrating. Laying it up. They battle on the rebound. Glenn Buckner is fouled by Steve Grody. Buckner has been magnificent on the backboards for a backcourt man tonight. Oh, he's so strong, leaps so well. He, as I recall uh, from my physiology days, the man who had the perfect athletic build, Kurt, was called a mesomorph. There it is, right there. He's got the perfect athletic structure. A uh, safety man in college football, a backcourt man in college basketball. Finally had to give up trying to combine two sports. It's almost impossible anymore with the overlap of season. Just too much for him. 74-64, Indiana University. Quinn Buckner going out in glory. One of his best games of the season. And it counted most. Ricky Green again. Length of the court. Won't go for him as Scott May rebounded. 
May off to Buckner. Buckner with a trap against him. Dangerous pass there across court. Wisman double team off to May. Time remaining, 2.50. Indiana ahead by 10. Bring it out. Michigan has to go after him. And Indiana now is down to 2.35 to go. Brody took it away, whipped it to Ricky Green. Green, the foul is called on Wisman. Wisman fouling Ricky Green. Four on Wisman. You know, Two Wisman, minutes, 33 seconds remaining. Kurt Wisman was the kid, remember the picture in the paper after the head. Bobby Knight kind of tearing at his uh, jersey and pulling him into the bench, and it caused some furor. But what's interesting is Wisman and his mother said Bobby Knight did the right thing. I expected that. I played poorly, and they weren't upset, but yeah, the rest of the country seemed to. Well, they, uh, some of the fans get upset with Bobby Knight, except his players don't. They defend him. Uh, not only defend him, but intensely loyal to him. Love him. 74-65. You have to. It shows out there in the court. He has complete command of this ball club. And they're really motivated. Buckner, the Wisman. Foul is on Grody. I'll take him in any sport. Wisman makes it 75-66, Indiana. Indiana frustrated last year. Lost only one game, that was to Kentucky in the Eastern Regionals. Scott May had a broken arm, was playing with an injury. Get Benson up for the rebound. Down it goes to Abernathy. Here it is to Scott May. May has the layup. 77, 78-66, Indiana. May has 24 points. Benson has 25. The two All-Americans have poured it on tonight. Buckner, the Indiana fans roaring in the background. They smell the national crown now. A minute 50 to play. Buckner underneath. Away they go. 80 to 66. Indiana on top by 14. They're demoralizing Michigan now. Just wear you down. They're winning in Look style. Up. Scott May winning in style is right. Going away. They're winning without one of their starting guards, Bobby Wilkerson. There goes good block there by Hardy. Bobby Wilkerson received a brain concussion early in the game and is now in Temple Hospital. He's only 35 years old. Is he the youngest ever to win the NCAA championship? He's the first ever play in one and win one as a coach. Played in uh, one at Ohio State under Fred Taylor. Foul is on Quinn Buckner with a minute 14. Bobby Knight didn't like that call. Kurt, the Hoosiers of Indiana, you know, in some of their sports, uh, football, it's been depressing for them in Bloomington, and you know how important that is to any collegiate program. They've always loved their basketball. They call it Hoosier hysteria. Bobby Knight has brought them maniacally their fans to follow them and he's had the roughest road perhaps any team has had to a national championship and what an effort it's been and this Michigan team true to its class playing them right down to the final gun. Well Knight finished third his second year at Indiana in 73 and he's about to win it now with a minute and five seconds to go. Buckner missed the drive. Out of bounds Michigan ball. You are watching the Big Ten's greatest games, the NCAA Tournament Final, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Droid. What's droid recognition? Understanding you clearly. What is the capital of Zimbabwe? The first time you ask with the Google Voice Search. The Droid Razor Max HD by Motorola. Droid recognition. Droid powerful. Monday, Rick Pizzo. Derek Rackley and Tim Doyle have a little fun as they weigh in on the hottest topics around the conference as only they can. The Big Ten Falls, Monday on BTN.
We know you love Big Ten sports so much. Who ordered the tall? That you want to take them with you. Excuse me? Really? Now you can. With BTN to go, it's the Big Ten Network on your phone, tablet, or computer. BTN to go. Take it with you. Honoring legends and building leaders. It's been a Big Ten tradition for more than 100 years. We honor the legends who've given us moments we'll never forget. And building leaders? Well, that's about preparation for living a life of significance every single day. Troy. What's Droid Smart? With Google Now, it automatically knows when you need to leave for the airport, how much traffic there is, and can have your boarding pass ready. The Droid Razor Max HD by Motorola. Droid Smart. Droid Powerful. Welcome back to the Big Ten's greatest games, Michigan versus Indiana, March 29th, 1976. Well, that 6'6", six, six Hardy, the freshman can leave, can he? All right, here's Brody back in the game. Not night might take Benson and May out and let them get the standing ovation from their fans, but evidently he's going with them all the way. Hardy fires. Scott May, look at him, play both ends of the court. The All-American looks down. And the foul's on Dave Baxter. Now I think Knight's going to substitute and get uh, his All-Americans out. Bobby Knight hugging Quinn Buckner. That's his wife. I got chills all the way down to my shoes. It wouldn't have mattered who won. This is what it's all about, folks. It starts October 15th every year, and one team gets to enjoy this. What he's dreamed about. May and Indiana now has a 15-point lead. They're capping off an undefeated season. Radford for Abernathy. The hand for Senior Abernathy. The next man they take out will be Scott May. May's at the line, though. He scored 25 points tonight, and there's 26 for him. And Bobby Knight now goes to the bench to get another player. 40 seconds to go in the game. 82-66 Indiana. Hardy, Scott. 82-68 Indiana. Here's Scott May down court. back here. Right after that. There's a foul on Dave Baxter. Foul's on Baxter. Scott May is going out. Find happiness, you're looking at it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we do remind you we have an award for sure following the game. Please stay off the floor. Thank you. Scott May winding up the greatest career in the history of an Indiana basketball player. Blake Raps is one of his greatest games of all time in the national title game. Bobby Knight's wife. New athletic director Paul Dietzel in front of her. Twelve seconds to go. And uh, senior Jim Cruz goes out. They're going to wind up with 32 wins in a row. Down to Wayne Rathbone. One second. 
The basket is good. And Indiana is the national champion going away. They trail by six points at the half. They came through with a tremendous second half and defeat Michigan even worse than many people thought. They thought it would be a very tough game, but Indiana, maybe at the end of the year, was even better than they were during the entire season. The final score, Indiana, the new national champs, 86, and Michigan, 68. We'll be right back after this message. Thanks for watching the Big Ten's Greatest Games. Be sure to check your local listings for future episodes.